it didn't pay off, and now it'll be in a sudden death round two. Now it's Wilson's turn, taking on Hermes, and Seth Moniz has a wild card call up last minute. A lot of support, uh, great people around you too. How important is that? Um, yeah, it's so good to to be uh, over here in the Rip Curl house. We've got um, such a good crew, and Mick's come over here. He came over for Paco's retirement, but he's always good fun to have around. Wilson's made a final once. That was that win we talked about in 2014. He's had a handful of 13s in the mix, which he can't afford to have go down this season. Little tail slide effort from Seth Moniz. That'll just be a quick warm up for the Hawaiian. 20 minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Paddling for this one is world number two, Julian Wilson. Grabbing the rail nice and deep, a big cavern with no exit. And that thing will land on his back and take him down. Position out the back. Moniz is going to roll in. Just a quick look and stepping off. Those are those really challenging conditions Wilco was just referencing. Trials they had a similar similar feel. There's just the odd diamond in the rough, but pretty hard to come by at the moment in this heat. Yeah, very difficult to come by. You've just got to bide your time, I suppose, and um, hopefully you find yourself on a clean piece of water, but super tricky. Well, it's, you know, there's that added pressure, John. I mean, with, um, you know, with pipeline, it's such an unpredictable wave. There's so much can go wrong. Here he goes. Wilson just up and out. Up and out. You know, it's a, we, we've, we've seen you know, some of the best surfs in the world crumble under that pressure, that world title pressure. Also winning the Quicksilver Pro France, getting past Medina the semifinals. First turn for Seth Moniz on the right. Front side carve off the top. Best score so far for the wild card. Just looking for a 3.33 for the lead off Julian. A super low scoring affair here at the moment. Beautiful snap there from Seth Moniz. Tomas Hermes having a look. The rookie on tour, snap to start. And a warbly inside section, he'll just get on out of there. So the struggle for a big score continues. 15 on the clock. But he's fitting in one clean front side carve in a messy section there. She'll seize it for De Souza. Back to back years where Brazil was number one in the sport. Watching this left set up for Tomas Hermes. Trying to punt that section, going for the air reverse. Ends up out the back. Tomas still chasing a 2.68 to take the lead from Seth, 11 minutes to go. Looking for them, he looks like he's kind of deep on the reef. His positioning kind of the same as Toledo's. So it's kind of an interesting uh, look at this setup as it's happening. Thank you, Strider. Looking at Seth kicking out there. So Strider seeing a lot of clips from Julian Wilson that he was dropping, kind of surfing. A lot of windblown lefts like we're seeing right now out front to going for something different out in the lineup right now. Watching Tomas just try to force the turn on the open face on his forehand. Tough inside section, hits it early into the double up and he'll go down. That little double up on the inside there and oh! Wow. Seth Moniz going for a big air and got a little bit hung up. Those early mornings in the gym, et cetera, et cetera. Finally, it pays off. It's such a sweet feeling, Joe. 7.25 to go. Julian Wilson setting up this first section. He'll have to kick out of there. Remember, Felipe Toledo was sent into round two by Matt Wilkinson. Wilson trying to avoid that now. Now back to action here with Tomas Hermes. Clean carve in the pocket, driving over the top of that section. Hermes' previous wave got him into the lead with a 3.17. Now looking to better a 1.63 there by Jeremy Flores. Year before, Jeremy got him in Portugal. He's come so close to be a multiple world champ. He'll be out there in 4 minutes and 50 seconds. Seth Moniz kicking out of his sixth wave ridden since he is leading the Jeep leaderboard. And Wilson's trying to track him down. Julian up now. First turn, nice clean snap. There's that rooftop flow. Winding up down the line. Carve off the top. It just jams the end section and stays on his feet. Wow. Where did that wave come from, Joe? That was a little gem right there. Look at Julian here. That first turn connects nicely with the lip. Second maneuver, just that lip line float, the free fall drop. And then again, a nice little snap through the inside. Julian finishing strong. 
finishing on his feet. Four solid maneuvers there from Wilson. And that board looks really good under his feet. Nice and free. Loose yet positive at the same time as he jams into the face of the wave. So a series of good turns there from Wilson. Easy to ride it, but really hard to rip it. Here we go. Winding up on the back end, Seth Bonis will have to eject. Opportunity setting up for Tomas. Hermes sniping the takeoff, unable to pull in. He'll just have to hop on out of there. He was hoping that thing was just going to open wide. You know, a couple of big turns, cleaner face on the wave. Three or four solid maneuvers. So in and out, 5.57. Nonetheless, still enough to put him up into that number one spot. It's a win snapper for the first time in his career. Late takeoff for Wilson. Looking straight down, he's so casual. We'll pull off that drop just to make sure he's going to hold on to that lead into the buzzer, saving himself into round three. That was a, a grindy little heat, wasn't it? And those kind of heats are really good to win as well. I mean, it gives you a lot of confidence moving forward. Didn't really show his best stuff yet. Save it for last.